Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Amanda from the Caroline County Public Library, and I'm excited to share story time with you again. You know what? We're going to start like we usually do. We'll get out our Incy Weensy Spiders. We're going to do a scarf song. There's a couple of rhymes from this wonderful book I'd like to share, and then a very silly book. So let me find my spiders. Here they are, ready? We'll start out with the incy weensy one. The incy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the very incy weensy spider went up the spout again. Excellent. And I think I see his big brother right here the big green spider. If you're doing this along at home, you can make your big spider with your hands like this. And we always have to make our voices nice and big too. Ready? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great Big spider went up the spout again. Very good, excellent job. And here's my special fancy scarf. And if you're doing this along at home, you can grab anything you want. You might have a fancy scarf. You might grab a dish towel. You might grab an old t-shirt. It doesn't matter. Anything you can hold up and play peeky boo with. Ready? Peeky boo. Very good. The first thing I want us to do with our scarf is bunch it up in a tiny little ball and it's round like a seed. So we're just gonna play make-believe for a minute because it's summertime and the plants are growing so fast so I thought we could play some make-believe with our scarf. We'll pretend that it's a little seed. First you take your seed and you plant it in the earth and you bury it and then you can't see it. And you might give it some water with a watering can you make sure it gets plenty of sunshine. And then before you know it, it pops up out of the earth and it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows. Wasn't that fun? And now let's sing our popcorn song with our scarf. This one is always a lot of fun. Ready? We're gonna bunch it up again in a tiny little ball and we're gonna shake it. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot in the pot shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them till they pop till they pop very good that one's so much fun usually i like to do it twice and then you can remember the words and sing it whenever you want so first bunch up your scarf like this very good popcorn kernels popcorn kernels in the pot in the pot Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. <laughs> Excellent, very good. And let's get out this Neighborhood Sing-Along by Nina Cruz. And this is a really cool book because it's a lot of very classic nursery rhymes and songs with real photos that are kind of interesting and silly and real kids playing in front of these songs. So the first one I want to share is one that you'll know from story time. I'm a little teapot. Let me show you this picture up close. Move these books out of the way. I'm a little teapot. See if you remember this one. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. And if you're at story time, we do it like this. We usually stand up, but we can do it sitting down. You make yourself big and round, ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. And it's story time, if we're standing up, we might fall all the way over, almost all the way to the floor. And it's lots of fun. Let's share one more from this book. This is another one we often do. It's called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. 
We have a silly version we do at story time, but this is the regular little short version. And you can see this picture, a little kid is playing with a boat in the bathtub. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And you might remember if you ever visit me at story time, sometimes we jiggle our boat, we jump in our boat, we rock in our boat. But let's sing the regular version one more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, good. I might share more from this book in the future. And here is my silly, crazy story I wanted to share. And it's for little kids. And there's a very important thing that little kids need to learn how to do. And do you know what that is? It's using the potty. Because you don't want to just use a diaper for your whole life, usually. So... This is called Potty. This book has been around for a very long time, and I know because when my kids were little and learning to use the potty, I read it to them, and now one of them's in college. So, I think it holds up. Let's see what you think. It's called Potty. It's by Milo Freeman, published by Tricycle Press, and here is the blue potty and there's a note by it. We're gonna find out what the note says. Near a small village in the middle of a jungle sits a potty. See it? Beside it is a note that says, only the best bottom of all will fit on this potty. Hmm. So all the animals think maybe I have the best bottom of all. Who's that? That zebra, isn't it? As zebra passes by, he reads the note and thinks, my bottom is the best. But zebra's bottom is much too big. He doesn't fit at all on it, does he? I wonder who's gonna come next. <gasps> next, giraffe wants to have a try. Bend your knees, Moro, you'll fall over, calls zebra. Do you think that's the potty for giraffe? I don't think so. And who's next? That's the leopard. <gasps> Leopard's bottom won't fit either, giggles giraffe. Why don't you tell him, asks zebra. Oh no, you tell him, says giraffe. I think they're a little bit scared to tell the leopard. Now look, snake is giving it a try. It's not working out very well. Snake looks like he could use a hand, says Leopard. Stay still for a second, Snake hisses at the potty. And it's just all tangled up in him. Isn't that silly? Oh my goodness. I don't even see the potty when Elephant sits on it. Elephant is sitting down, but I can't see the potty anywhere, says Zebra. Oops, I missed, Elephant tells them. And you can see that in the picture if you look closely. Oh, poor Elephant. Does it fit me, asks Gorilla. Look what Gorilla did. He put it on his head. Not on your head, silly, the animals call out. Just joking, Gorilla says. Let's go have something to eat, says Elephant, because Tortoise can take a while. Now Tortoise is giving it a try. I don't think it worked. But when the animals return, they can't believe their eyes. Look what they saw. Who is that, asks Gorilla. He fits on the potty, whispers Tortoise. There's Tortoise down there. He fits perfectly, doesn't he? It's so small, that bottom, says Elephant. And it has no stripes, says Zebra, or spots, says Giraffe. Where is its fur, wonders Leopard. He has gone pee-pee in the potty, says Snake. That's the best bottom of all, shouts Tortoise. And they all agree. And that's the end of the book, except one more question. 
Does your bottom fit on the potty? And I bet it does. And that was Potty, a very silly story time book. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to sing our goodbye song as always. We're going to start by clapping. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. Then we're going to tap. We tap and sing goodbye. We tap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we tap and sing goodbye. Then we're going to wave. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon.